Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp and this is a walkthrough of the audio tools that I have added to my uh, ZX Next tooling. Um, it is based, or it's, it's effectively a port of uh, Shiru's AFX uh, editor. Um, so there's a link here that takes you back to the original. Uh, it's written some time ago, this AFX editor. It works for Windows, there's no Mac or Linux support. Um, so I brought that to the web. Um, this tool will work without an internet connection. Uh, the whole URL will work without an internet connection. Um, and you can create, edit, upload, um, and download sound effects uh, just with this URL. So this video is gonna walk through how to create sounds, um, how to download the uh, sound banks, uh, and actually how to make uh, make use of this in your ZX uh, Next basic programs. So, <clears throat> There is a usage tab here that you can expand. It's useful to have a look at this for the first time round. Just tells you a little bit about the tool itself um, and also includes some shortcuts. Um, now the UI is still kind of early stage so I expect it to change a little bit and improve. Um, the kind of adding new effects and uh, navigating is not so intuitive. Um, but at the moment we can do enter to hit to start playing the effect. Um, we can use plus and minus to navigate each of the effects that we create. Uh, Shift enter will make a new effect, delete will delete and so on. Um, and we can also download the entire bank and I'll show you how to use that uh, in a moment. Now uh, the the um, tool expects you to use the uh, the mouse or you can use the keyboard to navigate as well. Um, uh, but mouse is a little bit easier. And I can literally just kind of click and drag to create kind of a waveform here. And at the moment if I play that, uh, there's no sound. We need to put the volume up on that to start off with, um, but also we need to turn on the tone. So we'll get a little bit clicking noise, but that's not really what we're after. What we need to do is turn on the tones. So I'm clicking and dragging down and we'll get some sound. Okay, so a little bit deep. Uh, if we bring this down a little bit down here. Okay, and give it a bit more curve and I invite you to play around with this tool. Uh, like I said, it's a port of the uh, Windows version. Um, and its I feel like it's pretty intuitive to be able to kind of create different types of sounds. Um, and you can play with the, uh, the audio here. You get an idea. Um, this is the noise channel. So if you include some noise, uh, make sure to turn on the, uh, the noise on the mixer. You hear a bit more kind of crunch uh, to the sound. Okay, so kind of like a bullet shot or a crash or something like that. Um, and you then go kind of create more effects and move forward and backwards and forwards and so on. Um, so we've got a blank uh, effect here. We can turn this on, make sure to remember to turn these on. Uh, oh, why did that turn on? We haven't got any volume. Yeah, it's a bit quiet. Um, so uh, this is kind of the starting point. You can download these and edit them as you like. I've also included the collections that came with uh, Shiri's original tool. Um, so some collections of sounds here that are, I found a pretty good inspiration. Uh, so we can load in these uh, 19 test effects. Uh, and if we import them, you see that now I've got 20 uh, effects, including the ones I had. Um, and we can have a look around at these. So they're pretty, pretty nice. Um, you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to download this bank and uh, run it in basic. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, download, give it a name. Um, I don't know, demo. Uh, I'm using the AFB uh, extension, which is the same extension that the um, uh, AYFX editor uses. Um, I'm going to download that into uh, my local directory and just pop it over into uh, a working directory. Um, and I've got some basic here. Um, <clears throat> I've just downloaded the, the, the uh, bank of audio into here. It's just a, a binary file. Um, and this basic, what it's going to do is it's going to um, run a counter over and over again and listen for key presses. Um, and when I press uh, the keys 0 to 9, it'll play the audio that's in that bank. So uh, 0 will play this sound and uh, 9 will play uh, this sound. Okay, so you'll then be able to kind of add whatever sounds you want to your game or whatever you're doing um, and just play them on demand. Before you can do that, you need to download the uh, AYFX driver for Next Basic. 
that's over here. It's linked uh, on this page. Um, it's up in GitHub. You can download uh, the single release or you can grab the source uh, however you like. You can download it from here. Uh, if we go into the downloads here, uh, just click on ayfx.drv. Uh, we're going to save that file and we're going to put that file in our working directory as well. Um, and if we go off to Next Basic, I've got these three files in here. And uh, what I'm going to do is install uh, the driver. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, dot, uh, oh, install, and uh, ayfx.drv. Um, and then we have to initialize a driver uh, with the uh, driver command. The driver ID is um, 49. Okay, so each driver has its own unique ID. Uh, 49 has been given to this driver. We're going to call function one or routine one and we're going to uh, point it to a bank. Um, and I forgot to load uh, the data, so we want to do that. So we're going to do load uh, demo.afb into bank uh, 20. So just arbitrarily picked bank 20. Um, and we're going to initialize the driver to bank 20 as well. So whatever number we put in here, uh, we need to make sure that we initialize the driver to point to that. And now the driver's ready. Um, and the next part of this program is to say, when I press a button, I'm going to call the driver and play that effect. So I want to call driver 49. We're going to call routine uh, routine 2, which is to play the effects back. Um, and we're going to pass in this number, which is the effect number. So um, the readme for this driver has uh, the API. Uh, pretty simple, just kind of two API calls. One is the bank ID, one is the effects ID, which you can see here. And if this works, we should be uh, installing the driver, loading the demo uh, file into a bank, and then being able to play that back. So let's give that a try. So this is the basic playing. There you go. So the important thing to notice here is that the uh, basic isn't interrupted. Um, the basic program is running absolutely fine. And the way that the audio driver works is that it hooks into the interrupt. And when you um, call this routine, um, it will queue up that particular sound and then play it on the interrupt. And when it's done, it will stop. Um, make sure that you read uh, the readme that goes with this. There is um, some caveats uh, if you're working with another uh, AY uh, something that plays around, around the AY chips, then uh, they can interfere. I, uh, your mileage will vary, basically. So um, that's all up uh, on zx.ramishop.com. Um, it's all open source. It all works without an internet connection. Uh, I hope you enjoy. And if you have any feedback, please let me know. Thank you.